Hi guys, it's Mrs. Blue, back with another art lesson. Today, no drama llama. No drama today. There's really no drama any days in art, right? We're always happy. You can find me on YouTube at Mrs. Blue. Let's make some art. Email me at jlpick at cps.edu. A picture of you with your artwork and you might have a chance of winning the golden paintbrush. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Aubrey Masalo, you won the golden paintbrush today. Look at Aubrey with her overlapping circles. These are so awesome. She spent a lot of time on this. This is super cool, Aubrey. And I wish I had a name with so many double letters. That's got to be good luck, right? Two A's here, two S's, two L's, two I's. I mean, wow, that's pretty cool. I wish my name had that many twin letters. Okay, good work, Aubrey. Keep creating art with us. That's pretty amazing. All right, guys. I'm not wearing this llama shirt for nothing. This no drama llama. Let's make this llama today. Look at that. No drama llama. Pretty cool. Uh, I think we should make this llama today because he's so cute. Oh, hi, Greta. Greta just jumped up on the chair to say hi to y'all, so we might as well take a minute. You, oh, hi, Vienna. Both puppies are coming up on the dining room chairs. I don't know how I feel about that. This is not your room. Yes, you get down onto that hot dog bed. Okay, so today you will need a few additional supplies today that you might not have. So let's see here. I am going to use today this old El Paso taco box. For this no drama llama, I used a Kleenex box. So you could literally use any box you have laying around. You will need tape, you will need scissors, and you will also need a little bit of string or yarn in whatever colors you want. I happen to have these four colors sitting around, so those are the colors I used. This is purple, even though it doesn't entirely look purple, pink, yellow, and red. I also use markers to color my no drama llama. So let's get started. Find a box, go to the recycling bin, look for a box from whatever food item you might have laying around, and let's cut that box apart. The thinner the box, the better, right? You don't wanna cut a very thick Amazon box. That might be way too hard. You want it to be nice and bendy and thin like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut one side like this and then, you know, save this. You can make a second one or you could have your brother or sister make one with you. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut off these flaps. I don't want them to be on my final llama artwork, like so. Okay, now I am going to go like this while I'm working today, because I can't see, because I'm indoors. Okay, so here is this. I'm gonna turn it this way. You can make whatever size you want. Look at this guy's super tiny. Today's is gonna be a little bit bigger. I'll put this one right here so you can see both. Okay, now I am going to draw this llama. It's super easy to draw the llama, so don't stress out about the llama. All right, I'm gonna make this one bigger. The bigger you make your llama, the easier it is to do this weaving, right? This one was pretty small, and so I had to really delicately use my fingers to do the weaving. So I'm gonna make mine extra large today so that I don't have to stress out about the weaving so much. All right, so I'm gonna start here. Oh, that pencil is not sharp at all. I think that I said that yesterday. Today, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil. This has a little bit of wax on it, you guys. You guys use a pencil. 
but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna risk not making too many mistakes and I'm just going to draw my llama outline with a marker. All right, so here's hoping because this is a little waxy and I can't draw on it very well. Again, this llama is gonna be bigger today, right? So we want the neck nice and long. Here's the body coming down, his little llama feet. Look how long I'm gonna make him because again, this is where we're weaving and it'll be easier to weave if he's a little bit longer and bigger. There's his tail. That's pretty much the shape of the llama, right? Okay, now I'm gonna make two eyes here. I'm gonna decorate him before I cut him out. You could decorate him after you cut him out too. It doesn't matter. This is like two kind of J shapes, one backwards J and one forwards J, and that makes the llama's cute face. And then I put this little necklace on the llama because it just looks cute. Um, he looks very festive. And then these lines all over the llama that really make the llama look fluffy. He's so fluffy. This llama looks like he has gotten many extra meals. Look, he looks so chubby. Okay, but I like it. Now, I'm going to get my scissors. Oh no, I didn't finish decorating. What am I saying? I'm gonna get my markers. And I'm going to add details to my llama. So I'm gonna add these shapes inside the ears. I'm gonna color this space in here orange as well. Again, use whatever color you love. And then I might as well leave this. I'm gonna make these pink today. I'm gonna make these little danglies off of his gorgeous necklace. And don't decorate anything in here because that's where the weaving is gonna be. If you put any decorations in here, then you're just gonna cover them up with the weaving. And you'll be so sad. Little cheeks, cheeky cheeks on my llama. And on the cardboard, you know, these colors always look so different because the cardboard's brown. It's not white like paper. So it always looks a bit darker. So this purple, so you can tell it's purple. There we go. And let's do maybe some green. Oh, that's so colorful. I love it. This llama looks very festive. That's it. Okay. Now comes the fun part. So now I'm going to, we're going to need our scissors for several things today. I'm going to cut out my llama. You can cut a little bit next to the black line if you would like the entire black line to show. Sometimes it's easy to cut a little bit outside of the black line, like so. Sorry, I'm probably making you very dizzy. The screen is up kind of high. Okay, garbage, recycling, I should say. There's my llama today. Okay, so now what you're gonna do for this llama is we are going to cut exactly five uh, little slits on the top and bottom. So 
I, I know I can't cut a slit until here. I should have lined that up better. So I'm going to start my first slit right here. I'm going to go one. Then I'm going to just maybe, do you see how I should show you that? Do you see how big I made that? Not too long, right? You don't want it to be too long. So there's one. I'm going to make one over here now. Two. Now one directly in the middle of those two. Three. Now in the middle of those two. Four. And in the middle of these two. Five. I'm going to turn it upside down. And I'm going to make one here. One. One at the end. Right above this one. Look at Here's this one. This one goes right here. Two. And now you're just lining them up. This one, three, one right here. I'm trying to line them up, right? And one right here. Okay, so they don't go through very far, right? Just a little slit. Definitely don't cut your llama in half, right? We're just doing a little slit. Okay, now get prepared to use two pieces of tape. I have some tape ready and we are going to start by wrapping some yarn all the way around our llama. First, we're gonna turn our llama over. Look, little Del Paso tacos on the back. And I'm going to pull my string through that slit, leaving a little dangly piece on the back like this. Okay, then I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape that down, super easy, onto the back. Now it won't go anywhere. Now it's stuck for good. Okay, now I'm gonna go down and through that slit. Now I'm gonna go up into this slit right here and down. Up around the back. I don't have to tape anything. Now it'll just, I'm pulling it tight so it'll just stay. And down. And go over to the next one and down. Over to the next one, down, and there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna cut a short piece here and I'm gonna take my second piece of tape. We only need two pieces of tape today and I'm gonna tape down this dangly edge. Okay, now it should look like this. All right, now I do know, I do, oh yeah, I do need scissors. Okay, now I'm gonna start with my first piece of yarn. Let's start with a piece of yellow. I'm gonna use some yellow right here, see? And I'm gonna cut, I don't know, I wanna go back and forth maybe three times, so I'm gonna cut maybe an arm's length. That's probably way too much. Gosh, you don't need that much. I don't know, maybe, you know, I just cut this much. You can always cut more. If you hold out your arms like this and cut a length, that's probably way more than enough. Okay, now you guys, I'm gonna go over first. So this yarn is going over the first one, over the first one. I'm pulling this up and it's going under the second one. Now over the third, under the fourth, over the fifth. Okay, now I can pull it. So there's just a little bit right here. Now it went over this. So now we have to do opposite. We have to go under, then over, then under this one, because look, it went over right here. So now the second row needs to go under, under. It went under here, so it needs to go over, opposites. Over, under, and I'm gonna pull it through. Okay, then I can push it to the top without pulling this red yarn out. I'm gonna go one more time, or maybe two. So here it went under, now I'm gonna go over, under, over, under, over. And I'm gonna push it up. You know, this piece is kind of dangling right here. I could just wrap this piece right here in this little groove, get it out of the way. Okay, there we go, that's great. 
Okay, now let's go one more time. Under, over, under, over, under. Like that. And now I've got this nice little coat for our llama. And I'm gonna cut this off here. If I had lots of extra, I could have went a few more times. And then this end, I'm just going to go like this, and I'm just gonna tuck it under. So it stays tucked under. There we go, we'll hide it a little bit. Okay, next color, my dears. Let's take a little bit of purple. Okay, I have some purple yarn. I'm just gonna cut a piece of purple. All right, so remember, over first is helpful, but I suppose it really doesn't matter. Okay, over the first one. Under, over, under, over. Need this one extra long. Under. Over. And you just keep using as many colors as you have and continue weaving until you have filled in, so let me zoom in on this cute, this one again, I made this one so small, until you have filled in your whole little critter right here. Let's see if I can clear that up a little bit. There. So I kind of filled in the whole area and you can see the back, there's nothing on the back other than the red yarn. Um, and we just weaved in on the front. And that is our no drama llama. He is super cute. Okay, let's make sure you can read that. No drama llama. Uh, I love that llama. I hope you guys enjoyed this art lesson today. Again, if you don't have these supplies around the house, feel free to just skip over this lesson. You don't have to do it. But I thought it'd be fun to create this little llama. Uh, all right, you guys, have a great day. Uh, go outside in your backyard, enjoy the sun, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.